G'day everyone and welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Now today we're going to be talking about the latest uh, Dew Shield design that I've created for my RASA 8 system. But before we get onto the details of this new Dew Shield design, I want to thank everyone that's uh, supported my channel, not only through the likes and comments and subscribes, but also those that have uh, gone through to my website and purchased their own um, print file to print their own uh, dew shields or cable holders uh, to create those really nice diffraction spikes that Newtonian telescopes tend to provide and everyone who owns a RASA would know that cables in front of the uh, corrector plate is a, is a bit of a pain and can create some really weird uh, looking diffractions on stars so to control that a little bit more um, I've created a range of uh, cable holders that will uh, help uh, control just those, uh, those sort of diffraction spikes that you get. So, yeah, anyway, let's get on to the new uh, G-Shield. So many of these guys who have been following my channel might have no noticed the design, and it's changed slightly compared to the very last image that I captured with um, the prototype of this setup. Now, the reason it was a prototype is because it wasn't quite sitting on the raster properly, and, uh, and what I decided to do is create these fins here that you might be able to see on the side here, okay? So what those fins do help uh, sit on the front of the, uh, the lip of the RASA um, to create stability there. They also add strength as well into this section here of the design of the dew shield, as well as on the back here. Because the walls within this section here are printed a lot thinner, these here uh, gave a lot of flex and I didn't quite like how strong they were. They needed to be stronger. So I've done that. Now we have no problems with the windows at all on the front, on the top and the back, um, and added uh, a bit of strength uh, into the uh, into the G-Shield section um, itself. The locking mechanism for it still remains uh, the same as the, the previous version. Um, it does lock into the uh, the, the RASA uh, a lot better. Um, and the previous design that, um, that I had where at the moment you put a, um, a flat panel, so the, the, for me, the Prima Luce, uh, the Prima Luce Lab um, flat panel system, sits on the front of this dovetail section here that um, being printed in and the weight of that when the RASA was on an angle would unlock it and it would come off. So this new design here which is a bit of a maze uh, definitely prevents that and also having these little fins on here that sit onto the, the lip of the RASA as well um, also creates some uh, stability there. <coughs> Now, as you can see here, the side of the uh, um, juice shield here is quite large. There's a hole here, and that's purely to run cables through. Now, there will be another section that will be printed up for this that uh, I haven't got around to doing just yet. And that there is basically like a rod, and it's going to slide all the way through. So it's going to conceal your cables, and it's going to block off the uh, hole um, in the side here. So it's just going to slide straight through and uh, effectively um, cut that off. Previous, My previous design, it was sort of the other way around, whereas uh, the cable would go underneath and into a channel and then in through here uh, to, the, to the camera itself. Now, I decided to change that up a little bit because the way the cable would sometimes sort of come out, um, I wanted to make sure that the cable was hidden away within the diffraction spike um, section of the juice shield itself. Now, on the back of it, I don't know if it's uh, too easy to see, but these diffraction spike rings here have actually got a, a taper on both ends uh, now. They used to just be flat, but instead I've created a, a bit of a taper. 
What I'm hoping to achieve there is that any light reflection back through the dew shield itself um, is basically getting split. And uh, rather than being a flat, um, like the fronts here, a flat backing here, um, where possible light will just hit that and then bounce back, uh, we'll see. So <clears throat> that's the, uh, the latest um, changes to this dew shield. And I don't really see myself doing too many more changes to it in the in the future. Uh, ultimately, it would be nice to have a some sort of camera rotation built into it as well, so that way you could uh, uh, rotate the cameras for uh, for us Rasa owners. Uh, but honestly, I'm not really thinking about that right now. I'm just uh, hopefully looking forward to doing some imaging again once my fences and all that up and my new location. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, the new changes that have happened to this uh, this dew shield here. Now you may be wondering why it's white. Well, because I am now printing in ASA rather than um, your more common uh, 3D printer filaments, and the reason for that is that ASA is UV resistant. It's uh, it can take a lot more heat as well before it starts warping. And that was a problem I had in my old dew shields was that uh, they would warp, um, especially left out in the summer, Australian summer sun, uh, on those uh, couple of nights where, or well, those few times where you get uh, consecutive clear nights. So I printed in ASA, and normally I print in black ASA. However, black ASA was unavailable. I couldn't get a hold of it at all, so I could only get a hold of white. I figured white wouldn't be too bad because the rass is white as well. Uh, but after seeing this on my Rasa, I think I will end up painting it um, again, like the outside of it in the future. But right now, I'm okay with the outside. We are going to be painting the inside though, because we need to reduce those reflections. And uh, having a white internal dew shield is not going to help with that at all. And I know these guys are probably cringing just seeing, seeing that as white. So we're going to be painting the inside of it, and we're going to be painting it with Musso Black. Now, Musso Black is a, a very good paint for light absorption. I've actually painted the inside of a couple of my Rasses in, uh, in Musso Black as well. And what I found about it is it's a very powdery type paint once it dries. So the moment you touch it, you will mark it. Uh, and I don't have a air gun or airbrush to paint it, so you get better results with an airbrush uh, rather than a paintbrush. So I'm going to be using a paintbrush to paint the inside of my uh, dew shield. And one of the things that uh, I'm quite okay with it being white is that I'll be able to see where I've missed. So hopefully we can uh, get all the insides of it all in uh, all painted black, and uh, and with a bit of luck, we uh, we come out with a nice result uh, in the end. So I'm going to get cracking with some painting, and I'll speak to you again soon. <laughs> Now after a night of letting the uh, the paint dry, uh, here it is. Here is the uh, the result. Now there are a few little touch ups that I need to make um, inside, so I'll I'll do those touch ups and uh, we should be uh, good to go. I uh, I really like just how black it all looks and how it absorbs the light. Oh, it's it's pretty cool. We're so black. Now. <clears throat> Here we have a beautiful Rasa, and I'm just going to quickly show you how it works. So, basically, I just grab our dew shield because all my Rasas are fitted with a uh, um, dew shield ring. So, I'm just going to grab that. And there is a section here for it to, uh, to slide into.
and there we go there we have it the juice shield is now in place of the uh, um, into the rasa and have a little bit of a look so there we go the uh, juice shield ring uh, can be connected up to power and we have besides the messy uh, paint job <laughs> there you can rotate it around and you can see it's uh, fairly easily accessible to get into to the uh, um, the filters and here's my uh, flat panel we'll just whack that on the front There we go. So we are all good to go with one rasa for uh, some astro imaging. When I got my fences up. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to print off another two more of these dew shields, and that's probably going to take probably about another month um, to do. So I need to order some more ASA and uh, and then painting them all as well um so i don't think the bottle will uh, stretch for three it, it should stretch for two um but three it may not uh may not get to so yeah this is my uh latest judicial design let me know what you think down below what other improvements do you think i could make to it and uh yeah if you've enjoyed it big thumbs up and if this is the first video you've seen please check out some others and if you like them please uh hit that subscribe all right, guys, so that's it for me and the new G-Shield. So, till next time, take it easy. See you.